This bottle's been making all the buzz lately. This is a custom 18 barrel blend of Ben Holiday Bourbon, a family owned distillery with a very rich heritage that has been created in partnership with a whiskey group called Bourbon Lore. Let's find out more about Bourbon Lore, Ben Holiday, and taste this amazing blend while giving you a chance to grab one of your own tomorrow. Stay tuned, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C for The Mass and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and do all the things to help me get to 100,000 subscribers for 2024. Appreciate the support, guys. So who is Bourbon Lore, and how did they get to create this custom blend? Well, it all started with founder Mason Walker. He's a fourth generation Arizonan with a lifelong passion for collecting and storytelling. Now, he has spent the last decade building one of the country's most extensive collections of American whiskey, which became the basis for launching Bourbon Lore. Him and the Bourbon Lore team have created one-of-a-kind bourbon experiences that include barrel picks, resort giveaways, dinners, and now working with distillers to create custom whiskeys. Now this bourbon came to my doorstep with really good timing. I was literally just at Ben Holiday a few weeks ago selecting two single barrels for Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, including a standard rye mash bill single barrel and a weeded mash bill single barrel. You guys know I love history and the Ben Holiday distillery has a very rich history. Ben Holiday, the man, is one of the greatest unknown figures in American history actually. He became the original transportation tycoon, famed as the Stagecoach King, for creating the Overland Express stagecoach lines that were ultimately sold to Wells Fargo, just one piece of a transportation portfolio that also included steamship, streetcars, and railroad. It's also why there's a little stagecoach in the front of the bottles. Now the Holiday Distillery was established over 166 years ago, but the history of the property goes back even further than that. Over 50 years before founder Ben Holiday acquired the land, Lewis and Clark passed through in 1884 during their famed expedition to the west. They discovered and charted the limestone springs that run abundantly through the property and traveled through what would later become Western Missouri, where Ben Holiday sits now. Now in 1856, Ben and his brother David distilled their first batch of bourbon under what they had named the Blue Springs Distillery. The business stayed in the Holiday family through the end of the 1800s, passing from David Holiday to his son and son-in-law to become Barton and Holiday in 1894. And then finally, over the next century, the distillery changed hands only three more times before being acquired by the current ownership group in 1993, who recently poured about $10 million into the revitalization of the distillery, which is, if you've ever been there, is actually beautiful. In fact, if you've never been there, I encourage everyone to go take a visit to Ben Holiday. All right, let's find out what's in this bottle. First and foremost, this is a brand new expression for Ben Holiday from Bourbon Lore. It is the first ever holiday release to blend barrels from multiple distilling seasons with an age statement of seven years. Master distiller Kyle Merklin, who I just got to meet recently, is a brilliant master distiller. He made three blends and 10 small batch blends for this. And then the team that worked on this got to kind of blend all of those together and then tasted them all blind before they came to this selection right here. Now each bottle comes individually numbered and stickered, plus it comes with this badass custom box and I'm pretty jealous of. I gotta look into one of those, that's pretty nice. It's bottled at 118.6 proof and it retails for about 100 bucks. Now this will be available for public release on Bourbon Outfitter this Wednesday, or in this case tomorrow, at 11 a.m. My personal link and access code are down in the description of the video if you want a shot at one tomorrow. So to all of you, good luck. All right, let's dive into this one. I love how both light and dark this is. You got a ton of upfront fruit. I think there's some apple there. There's definitely a little bit of kind of a, a pear apple combination. Tons of baking spice, but there's also kind of a toasted marshmallowy type nose too. Kind of a bright cherry note here too to you know to go along with that pear, that apple note. Again, very fruit forward, but there is some nice oak, some you know caramel sweetness here. I mean, you would think that these guys have been around for, well, I mean, technically they've been around for years, but you know, they just kind of pop back up on everyone's radar. And you would think that they're one of the, you know, heritage distillers, you know, coming out of Kentucky. Really great stuff. All right, let's give it a sip. I love this so much. The palate hits you immediately. I talk about it all the time, guys. 
If a bourbon comes in, hits your palate, gives you, just explodes on the palate with flavor, that is where it's at. And immediately, I get this really nice long finish here, a lot of spice. Yeah, I mean, that was just the first sip. Let me go in again here. Yeah, here's where it starts to open up quite a bit. But there, I, I'm loving the baking spices here, guys. I mean, cinnamon, clove for days, at least for me. I absolutely love that part of it. Good spice in the back end. It's extremely viscous. I mean, you talk about an 18 barrel blend. I mean, that's a lot of barrels. And to keep that viscosity, I think is really, really, um, that, that's a special thing when you can do that, especially for a custom blend. That might be my favorite part. I mean, texture and, and you know, kind of the viscosity of a whiskey, I think is very important to me. I hate when it's just so watery, it just, goes by your palate so fast, I wanna sit down and enjoy it. And I think that's what kind of bourbon lore is about. So I could see them, you know, loving this whiskey. As it opens up, I think it goes a little bit more citrusy. Again, I think some of that apple and pear note, but then it starts getting mixed with a little bit of orange peel. But, it's, but it stays with that cinnamon and clove. And again, the viscosity of this. Yeah, and then the finish I think is actually the best part because that's when the texture really all comes together and all these different flavors that you're getting in front and mid palate just kind of explode in the back end. You just, you run into all these different flavors here that all come together. The cinnamon, the clove, the apple, the pear, the oak. Yeah, this is a home run guys. I mean, it actually tells you right on the side of the bottle here uh, exactly all the barrels that were used, all the different locations. So there's all your 18 barrels right there the texture and the spice of it and everything that kind of intertwines is just delicious. So if you're one of the lucky ones that grab it uh, tomorrow, or if you've gotten one already from the, uh, some of the members, you got yourself a hitter. Yeah, see, it's actually getting darker. Now it's getting to like a, a cherry cola vibe. This thing is stupid good. This is one of the best bourbons I've probably had this year so far. This is really, really good so again guys you want to try to get your hands on one of these just click the link below in the description use the code master and drum i think you'll get about five percent off your order as well like i said it's about a hundred bucks um you know bourbon lord did send this to me they, they kind of wanted to get their uh their word out there about their group and everything and i i think it's really fantastic it's it's something different it's not just a single barrel pick uh but it is an 18 barrel custom blend we'll see if uh, they do more of these but for those of you trying to get one good luck tomorrow all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the custom 18 barrel blend of Ben Holiday from Bourbon Lore. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try to grab one of these tomorrow or if you're one of the lucky ones that got one already. Again, I want to thank uh, Bourbon Lore for sending this along. It's just a fantastic blend. Can't wait to see what those guys do next. And with that said, like I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share with. So cheers. See you next time right here on the Mastin' Drum. Cheers, folks.